Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? Silky Creamy in the house. So glad you folks are here. Welcome in. Welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Silky Creamy, and I do very niche review videos of shaving products and skincare products. I take a deep dive look. We take a look at the product inside and out and learn from the artisan what's inside and um, inspiration behind the product. Um, and then hopefully this will give you a little bit more information on the product itself and um, maybe you want to pick it up or maybe pass on it so we're just interested to see what's out there um, as always for those of you that are returning I really appreciate you so much uh, today we're going to be doing high jump 47 from PAA and this is one of their more popular offerings um, or maybe one of their more highly marketed um, items. I have not smelled this. So I have no idea what this smells like. Um, but they have so much, um, um, what do I want to say, um, merchandise and everything and anything. Um, High Jump 47 is one of those um, um, scents that um, has everything listed um, towels prints stickers shirts uh, phone cases anything you can think of um, that they offered high jump 47 is one of those scents so this is going to be one of their popular ones i think um, but for, let's take a look at the label first and so first off we got this pretty cool um old school i'm not sure if you guys can see that print in the background which i think is pretty awesome obviously this is a portrait of a someone in the military it's a really nicely done um portrait really nicely detailed got some color too in his face his eyes he's got a nice head of hair too it's a really nice portrait i'm not sure if this is the navy um or this is the space force we shall find out for sure because i think the write-up is pretty extensive on the website anyway this is in ck6 this one seems to be already starting to come off on the edge of the tub it does look a little drier Let's do our first scent. Mm. Yeah, it smells good. This has some musk in it. Something else. Again, a complex scent. But definitely some musk, which I like. Doug is the musk master. Scent strength on this is, I would say, a five and a half. Yeah, it's right in between five and six. Um, I don't know if this is an older tub because I've never seen the soap coming off the edge here. That means it's losing its moisture, it's firming up. So I don't know if this is an old tub and the scent strength would be stronger or not. I, I have no idea. It is definitely not a mildly scented soap. It is a uh, medium to medium high, so I would say five and a half. But I'm picking up some musk and it's bright. Uh, not really any f citrus, maybe some floral in here, but it's not an overpowering musk. Um, so this is a little bit more milder. Um, so if you are averse to musk or um, someone you live with doesn't um, like musk much, um, this is a possible. I would get the aftershave sample first though. It's only 99 cents and uh, try it out. Um, aftershave is probably gonna be stronger though. It's always stronger in scent. Um, but um, definitely I pick up some musk. Let's go ahead and read I'm very interested. Um, and then, yeah, sit back, relax. This is probably gonna be a long one. Um, okay, scent profile, Brew Bronco. So Brew, B-R-E-U. Bronco, B-R-A-N-C-O, Amber, Bitter Orange, and Bergamot, anim Animalic Musk. This is part one in our Agartha trilogy. Winter, 1946, Admiral Richard E. Byrd sits in a barber chair. 
on base. One last cut and shave before he ships out on what will become one of the largest and most epic naval expeditions ever undertaken and forgotten. So I, it was Navy, I knew it. Um, as his barber engages him in idle chit chat, Admiral Bird is already miles away in his mind, eyes a gaze in the mirror and out the window behind him. This would be his third time in this faraway land and his furthest jump yet. He feels a pull towards his mission, a drive, something calling to him. Shave complete, the barber slaps a mysterious yet familiar splash on our hero's face and neck. The scent immediately brings him back. He shakes off the strange reverie and is ready to depart. Exiting the catonic corridor into the muted light of a rainforest, a familiar smell engulfs the team. Where are they? They are off course, and it would seem. One last glass glance at the overgrown Brazilian jungle and then back into the cave once more to find the rest of the scattered team. What is this mysterious familiar scent? It origins, its origins are in the Amazon, Brazil. The resins that escape the brew bronco tree, or what I like to call the barbershop tree. The natural deep aromatics of brew bronco scream classic man. Not indigenous in the least, but 30s, 40s, even 50s classic civilized man. So much so, it needed little tweaking in my lab. Brew Bronco, or white brew, is a resin or sap from an Amazon tree. In the U.S., it is virtually unknown, but in Brazil, it is used by perfume companies and as an essential oil. The resin itself has been used by the forest population for centuries for its medicinal properties. Churches and tribes used to burn it for its aromatic scent with calming and concentering properties. There is a top note of amber to enhance the already naturally occurring talc-like scent and a twist of bitter orange and bergamot for color. Lastly, I treated the blend with a thimble full of animalic musk to heighten the primal natural musk already present in the resin to give shape and to anchor it. As exotic as it sounds, I believe you'll find it very familiar and masculine. You will immediately understand why it is part of the smell track of our adventure. So join us now as our fateful expedition begins. High Jump 47. So part one of the trilogy, which includes number two, Strange Island, and number three, Agartha. So that is the trilogy. High Jump 47 was the first then Strange Island, then Agartha. Very cool. So there you have it. Brew Bronco is a Amazonian tree. The barbershop tree. Oh, looks like that seal came right off. No orifice reducer. Yeah, this has definitely musk. So definitely stronger musk. I knew it. Like that's a shape always is going to be strong musk. It's well done musk. If you like musk, this is this is beautiful. I like musk. Oh, so good. Anyway, this is high jump 47. I can see why this was considered. So this is Richard Admiral, um, Admiral Richard E. Bird. Richard Bird. This is the character that we see often in the different scents. And an installment in PAA. Well, folks, there you have it. High Jump 47. As always, I appreciate you for stopping by. Hope you have a little bit more um, insight or a little bit more information about this scent. Um, I know I do. And um, yeah, thanks for joining me. As always, take care of one another out there. And um, we'll see you in the next video. Peace.